Hello everyone, good to talk to all of you again, and today I will be bringing you a review on the AMX ELC BIS. Because this tank is a light tank, all of our consumables will be focused on keeping the tracks repaired. Therefore, you want to take both the repair kit and the multi-purpose restoration pack, as well as the first aid kit. Having both the repair kit and the multi-purpose restoration pack allows you to keep your treads up for a longer period of time if they do break. The first aid kit is optional. You can swap it out for something like adrenaline, but I do recommend the first aid kit because it offers a layer of redundancy over the multi-purpose restoration pack if that does happen to be on cooldown. Provisions are always optional, but they are a great thing to have if you can afford them. If you do choose to run provisions, take the canned pate, the improved fuel, and the hot coffee. Both the canned pate and the hot coffee improve your crew's mastery, which is always nice, and the improved fuel increases your speed even farther, which is important since you are a light tank, and the improved speed will make it harder for enemies to accurately land shells on you. As always, completely optional, but this is my recommended provisions if you do choose to run them. Ammunition wise, you should be taking AP mostly. If you do want to take a few shells of HE, that is perfectly okay, but keep in mind that because of your gun's small caliber, HE will be very ineffective against almost all targets. With that, now let's go take a look at our modules and upgrades. First off, you're going to want to grab the upgraded gun. Normally, I would recommend getting the upgraded engine or the upgraded tracks, but for this tank, the tier 4 gun just has simply too low of a pen to be effective in battle. The next upgrade after the gun should be the engine. The engine gives you a big enough boost that it might be the difference between eating a shell and dodging a shell. Also, when you're climbing any sort of terrain, you will really feel the engine difference. The last thing you want to get is the tracks. You already have a pretty decent base traverse speed, so upgrading the treads does not make a huge difference. Now let's take a look at the stats of this tank. You do have a pretty nice amount of HP at 660, but looking at the armor values, you have 25mm of frontal hull armor, 10mm of side and 15mm of rear hull armor. Because these values are so low, do not be expecting to bounce any shells in this tank unless you are very very lucky. Turret armor is also really low at 20mm of frontal armor, 15mm of side armor, and 10mm of rear armor. As like I mentioned before, do not be expecting to bounce any shells off this armor. Maneuverability wise, the AMX ELC is fantastic. You have a low weight of 6.92 tons, you have an engine power of 275 horsepower, you have a speed limit of 65 km an hour, you have a traverse speed of roughly 58 degrees, and also a turret traverse speed of 51 degrees per second. Do keep in mind that because the tank is so light and so fast, if you ram someone, you will be taking massive damage, so ramming people is not recommended. From these, we can tell that the AMX is one of those run and gun type of tanks. Gun wise, the AMX ELC BIS is also very good. You have standard shell damage of anywhere between 120 to 200 damage per shell, and then your shells can penetrate between 90 to 150 millimeters of armor each. You have a rate of fire of 8 shells per minute, which is still pretty good for a light tank. Aiming time on this tank isn't too bad at 3.9 seconds, and dispersion at 100 meters is also 0.36, so you can be making those cross map shots. With this, I've covered most of the AMX's stats on paper, so now let's take it to battle and see how it performs. We start off by rushing mid, we end up overtaking all of our friendly tanks even though we started slightly behind all of them and we also end up beating the enemy team there too. Because we arrived so quickly, we were allowed to take a couple of pot shots at this leopard before they, they even realized we were there. Here we show a demonstration of one of the AMX's most important traits, which is slightly peeking out, firing, and then retreating back into cover. One thing I also forgot to mention was that the AMX does not have a fully rotatable turret. It has pretty good turn angles, but it is still not fully rotatable.
For a light tank, turret depression isn't bad either, but when you are shooting at people from above, it still may not be enough, as we can kind of see here. We can also see how popping it out and popping back in could not let the T-67 aim properly, which is going to be the same for most tanks at this time, so doing this method will allow you to dodge most shells. The fast reload and the quick speed allow you to basically choose whoever you want to shoot at whatever time you choose to shoot at. This gives you a lot of versatility and allows you to be a really big threat on the battlefield if you know what you're doing. The poor Vickers here simply could not keep up with us ducking in and ducking out, and it eventually ended up being destroyed with us very, very quickly. We did take a hit here, and this can shows us our lack of armor capability as the Vickers that shot us had absolutely zero issues penetrating our armor, and easily chunking us a fourth of our HP. We knew that base was being captured, so a quick rush toward base barely took no time at all due to the AMX's fast speed, great handling, and its acceleration. A quick flanking maneuver around this T-67 allowed us to get into position and easily kill them off without taking any damage ourselves. shot to the last enemy, the DW2, does finish him off and we do end up winning the game. The battle does end and we end up with the most important medal of all, which is the Ace Tank Grave Mastery Badge along with a bunch of others. We end up doing 2.1k damage and also 1004 worth of base XP. Thanks for watching this review and I do hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will catch you guys next time. If you have any requests for any other tank commentaries, comment down below or also hop into our discord where we will be the most active.